Your guy Diddy speaks out. Uh, multiple allegations has come out since the last time we talked about Diddy. Mm -hmm. um, this week, a new one came out. Allegedly, him and two men gang raped a 17-year-old girl back in the early 2000s. Um, Diddy speaks out about this and says, enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Sean Diddy Combs. What do you what do you think, man? Um I'm allegedly not buying it. <laughs> I'll say that. Allegedly. Um, yeah, man. It's unfortunate, bro. Yeah, it is. It's unfortunate. I I've been hearing rumors about Diddy since I was a kid. Damn. So. Yeah, and you was in Miami, so you know you you probably had the oh yeah the creme de la creme. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of stories, um, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know. You know what's so funny? It's like Fifty is going so hard. Like Fifty is going in on Diddy like really bad. Like he like I got the documentary coming and yeah, those everything. are trolls, right? That's not real. No, he's serious. I think he's making a real documentary. I think so. I don't buy it. I think so, bro. He tried to use like yo, man, give me revolt. You know what I'm saying? Before your sponsors pull out. And it's like, he's been going, <laughs> and I'm like, where does this come from? Like, in my mind, because I'm like, only thing I remember their beef was that um, it started because he wanted to sign Mace back in the day. Mm -hmm. And Puff was like, not doing oh, I that. I remember that, yeah. So I don't know if it stemmed from that or it's, it's like, you not signing me back in the day because he could have signed a bad boy too, but Puff just didn't want to do it. What's the lesson here? The lesson is what all happens in the dark comes to the light. Yeah. For sure. And treat people right. Yeah. Because if you don't treat people right, it's going to come out. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what's happening, right? Like, yeah. at, at at worst, he treated some people wrong because why would they be doing yeah. this to him? Why yeah, would yeah, everybody, yeah. N nobody's coming to his defense. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Right? So that's that speaks to if this is not true, you at least didn't treat a bunch of people right. Yeah. Because ain't nobody trying to help you. Well, I think also, too, it's just like you know that, that, that lane of ditty of people saying how he treated artists. Yeah. Money-wise, financially-wise, and... You know, different things of that nature. So I, I don't, I don't know, man. I think I, I don't, I don't, I don't. You do reap what you sow. So it's just like, but I, I don't want to see him go out like this, though. Like this is bad. You like, don't want to see him go. No, nah, I don't want to see nobody. I mean, if if, if God got to humble you, he got to humble you, and God no, got to you need to go to jail, bro. Yeah, that too. This. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying, like, I think at the same time, you know, I mean, it's almost like. I remember Dave Chappelle talking about his heroes being Bill Cosby. Like, yo, that's one of my heroes. Like, I don't want to see my hero go bad, but if he did it, he got to go. But at yeah. the same time, it's just it's sad to see. You don't want it to be true. But yeah. if it is true, right. yeah, of course. Go, to, go to jail. Yeah, of course. 100%. But it's still, you, it's still somebody that you, like, like impacted your life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it sucks that it's that bad. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, and, and he used the impact he had on your life to ruin somebody else's life. Yeah. Allegedly. Yeah. Using your celebrity for your own benefit, yeah. allegedly. Yeah, Sean, thanks, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. <laughs>